you are going to have to excuse the lighting because the electricity's out. And I've got baby chicks five days old. Today's Friday. I got them Sunday, five days old. Anyways, power's out. I was using a battery backup to run the 250 watt heat lamp. Um, it only lasted about two hours. That's the Echo Flow River with the extra battery pack. It's really, I kind of bought it for overlanding in my Jeep, so it wasn't really intended to do this. Then I had a UPS that I use on my computers, but to be honest with you, it's been a while since I've used it. Once the Echo Flow went dead, I then um, plugged the computer UPS in. The lamp only run about 15 minutes with it plugged in. Then I was trying to think like I could back the camper van up to the house and then run an extension cord inside. And then I was like, you know, I've got those hot hands and I've never actually used them. I've had them for years. So uh, let's figure this out. It says to open these up. Might be fun in itself. I guess I'm probably going to need a knife. It says, Do not open outer package until ready to use. Remove warmer from outer package. Shake to activate. I think they're warming up. There's one. There's all kinds of things you could do though besides this. I'm just trying to do something that's going to last for a while. And these say they last 10 hours. I don't know how long the power is going to be out. But I'm going to wrap these up in a towel. And if this isn't enough heat, what I'll do, I could actually put them like in a box and stick the box under a blanket with me. I mean, my body temperature is 98 degrees. They need about 95. That's just going to be inconvenient, right? These do seem like they, they are heating up. Let me get the thermometer and let's see. They are heating up, but they're only heating up a little bit. I don't know if that's normal. They're about 80 degrees. They are heating up slowly. 81. So what I'm going to do is just cover this up with a... I mean, it's definitely, when I put my hands on it, it feels more. So I'll just fold this over. And lay this towel inside where I've got the brooder at let me get this set in there and I'll bring you right back again you're gonna to have to excuse the light I put it in there I stuck a couple of them on there they're kind of like clustered up over there in the corner but that one there definitely knows it's warmer and if one knows it's warmer they're all eventually going to make it over there so hopefully that'll help some um, I've actually got the uh, the echo flow is now outside in the van and it's going to take, it takes it about two hours, hour and a half to two hours to charge up from completely dead. And I'll bring it back inside. So this uh, hand warmer is just kind of like a stop gap until it's done. It's got about an hour left. Again, that's just hand warmers, hot hands. I could stick them in the box back there that they actually came in, stick the box underneath blankets with me, let my body heat heat it up. But they seem to be fine. They're clustered up there pretty tight. And uh, they're pretty warm when I grab a hold of them. So they can make it for, you know, short times in between when the uh, charger's charging up and when the power comes back on. Another method to keep the chickens warm. This is hot water. In a gallon jug. I've filled up two of. Hold on a second. Let's check the temperature. Hundred and eleven degrees. So then we can take the jugs and put in where the chickens are at, 
and keep them warm also. And you can see they are mostly huddled up together. There's one laying on the hot hands. And I've got the two jugs in there. The nice thing about the jugs is they'll dissipate heat over a longer period of time. And also when I get the heat lamp turned back on with the um, solar battery charger thing, it'll also heat up the jugs and heat the water that's inside the jugs. So this will probably work out really, really well. I'm just basically like thinking of all the millions of different ways that I can keep chickens Baby chicks warm during a power outage. Another idea that I come up with was to just use a plain old light bulb. The problem is I have replaced all the light bulbs in my house with LED lights. So I like to never found this one light bulb. But it's 60 watt. And even though it's not maybe... Ideally, the exact temperature we need is better than no heat. And as you can see, I put these jugs in here that have hot water in them from the tap. And then I also have the hot hands in there. Now the difference with the 60 watt bulb and the 250 is that it's going to give me, says 9 hours of run time. I don't know that that's going to be accurate, but that keeps me from, you know, more than likely the power will be on then. So we'll check the temperature too. As soon as I figure out what I did with the thermometer, let me find it. So the jugs are still showing about 101 degrees. 100 degrees the hot hand warmers they're only showing about 71 or so but there's a chance is that chicken still breathing yeah he's still breathing sleeping but as you can see the chickens have like woke up and they're now getting under the lamp so the lamp is showing about 86, well, actually, I mean, on the lamp, showing about 100 degrees, 111 degrees, 114. So that heat is going to be, you know, obviously reflected down. I'm only showing about 81, you know, kind of depends on where you shine it at. But that is still better than nothing, right? We're just buying time is basically what we're doing. We're buying time until the power comes on. But having those milk jugs, I think, was a great idea because that'll take them a long time before they'll cool down. And also going to a lower wattage bulb might not be ideal, might not be the exact temperature, might not be as spread out a temperature as you need, but it's probably going to get them through this cold spell. So that's kind of like all the ideas. I've literally sat here and thought like 30 different ways to keep these chicks warm during a power outage. It's about uh, 1030 at night now. And it's going to start getting cooler. Um, I can continue to take the uh, Echo Flow out and charging it on the van. Let's see. It still says nine hours run time. I don't think it'll get that much, but that's still better than only two hours, which is what I was getting with the 250 watt bulb. So, uh, yeah, I think everything's going to be fine. So now it's just get them through the night till the power comes on. Thanks for watching. I'll go ahead and put a list up of some other ideas I thought about that I didn't actually implement. Because really the water jugs and the lower power light is really going to be key. If you've got one of these echo flows or similar, you know, you can keep the power going. I could, like I said, I've got the camper van that's got a solar system in it. I could literally back it up to the house and run an extension cord inside. 
But I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think that it's the heat so much that would kill the chicks or the lack of heat. It would be the draft. So in order for me to run the extension cord in here, I'd have to have the door partially open. There's going to be a draft. I think that's actually worse. So I'm trying not to do that. And, uh, you know, they're, they're five days old, but you can see they're starting to get some. They're like feather tips right there. Tip feathers on their wings are starting to come in now at about, you know, five days old, six days old. But they're still a long ways off from actually having their full feathers. But they can actually, like, cuddle up next to those jugs, which is what they're doing. You know, they're kind of like all piled up there. Because those jugs are, you know, the temperature they need to be. And those jugs have water, and that water's going to hold that temperature for quite a while. So, I think that was like the best idea I come up with, was the water jugs, and then the lower wattage lights. Anyways, thanks for watching. Just thought I'd update this. I'm out in the camper van now. This should be about charged up. It's got three more minutes left. It takes about two hours to charge it from the solar system that's in my van. There shows the battery level there. The uh, main solar battery is a 300 amp hour battery. It's still at 100%. Even though it's charged this twice and I have the 250 watt um, heat lamp running off of it for about the last 15 minutes so basically um i'm charging this it's almost charged up it's completely dead when i got up this morning at around 6 30 so i don't think it made it nine hours might have only been around eight hours you can see i got an extension cord plugged in and let me show you what i got going on inside the house i did put the heat lamp back in the chickens are under the heat lamp do a head count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They all made it through the night. Woohoo. About 15 hours now without electricity. And I come up with several different ways to keep them going. I think that the best thing, those milk jugs are still warm. They're just not warm enough to keep the chickens warm. I mean, obviously it helped considerably. Having the blankets over the cage, kind of like for insulation, worked. Um, I didn't really have enough to do like the back of the cage was still open and this side over here I probably could have found some more blankets, but you know, they, they were doing fine, but I can tell you Like the milk jugs are nowhere near what they was they're 50 60 degrees 61 degrees So it got pretty cold in there last night. It got down to you know, they were actually in this box when I got up this morning, all of them was in that box. They didn't get out of the box till I turned the heat lamp on. So, and they come out pretty quick. Once they saw that light come on, they were like, oh, yes, warm. And now they're all eating and drinking and pooping and doing their normal stuff. So, right underneath the light. I'm going to leave those milk jugs in there because we could have another power outage tonight or the next day. And the heat lamp will actually heat up the water inside the jugs and... If I lose power, that'll buy me some time, you know, to get the van hooked up or whatever. Woohoo, the power is back on. So uh, it's about 9.30 now, so that means that uh, 12. Power was off for about 15 hours, and the chickens are doing fine, I'm doing fine, and that's all that matters.